Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my March favorites video. I have quite a lot of beauty products to share with you guys. I tried out a lot of products in the month of March and there was a lot of like new releases so I have a lot to get through so let's just get started. So I'm going to start with these Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Eyeshadows. Yeah, that's what they're called. They're liquid eyeshadows and I've done a tutorial with both of the colors that I've got which are gold goddess and bronzed bell so obviously a gold and a bronze shade I'll link both the tutorials down below along with the products but these are incredible I am highly highly impressed by these I definitely want more colors they sold out really really quickly so that's why I only picked up two but I will definitely get more you know when I have money to spend on makeup so yeah the Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadows I would highly recommend I have two eye brushes to share with you they are both from Sigma one is the E25 blending brush and the other one is the small angle E65 so the E25 looks like this. It is pretty much the MAC 217 but in Sigma and better because it's not natural hair. I still use a lot of brands that unfortunately do test on animals but hopefully one day I will be cruelty free with my products but for now I just pick the cruelty free option when I can and I know that some of you will be like that's not good enough but I just think any option where you choose cruelty free is better. This is amazing so I would highly recommend it over the MAC 217. It is like I said it's the same brush, has the same shape, it's like the tiniest little bit skinnier and less fluffy but it still works absolutely beautifully. And the E20, no, the sorry, the E65 is the brush I've been using to do my eyebrows every day. It's the perfect size. I like that it's small so you can really define your eyebrows and get like natural hair strokes kind of thing and yeah I've just been loving it and using it every single day in the month of March and I think these two are definitely brushes that you should pick up. I do actually have a coupon code for Sigma it is just Brie I believe and it will get you 10% off but it will be listed down below with the brushes and yes so if you want to get 10% off it is an affiliate code just so you guys know. I make a very small commission on that, but if you choose to use it, thank you and I love you. Okay, let's start on the Tarte products. As you guys know, if you watched my Tarte haul, um, I got sent over quite a lot of products and I was so grateful. I made another order and I have a, quite a few Tarte products to share with you guys. I have been loving pretty much everything, but I have a few standout favorites, so I'm gonna share with you guys what they are. So the first thing is this Tarte Clean Slate Flawless Brightening Primer. I love the packaging of this. I said it in that whole video. I absolutely adore this. This is literally the dupe for the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I believe that is what it's called. This is the exact same product. I feel like it's the same consistency. Um, it blends out onto your skin the same, it makes your makeup apply the same, makes your makeup last. So if you were wanting to try out the Hourglass Primer but you didn't want to splurge, try this one because it is literally, I swear it's the same thing, I swear it's the same formula and it's a lot more affordable for the Tarte one so I would highly recommend it. Okay, next couple of things are things I bought for myself. So I ordered the Rainforest of the Sea foundation and first of all the packaging is absolutely stunning of this. It's a glass bottle um, but the lid is purple to gold ombre and it has a little dropper which I quite like the dropper. But this foundation is incredible. I've been getting so many compliments when I've been wearing this and the other product I'm going to show you. Like I've never had more compliments on my skin than when I wear these two. So I think I kind of have a new fa favorite foundation. I got the shade Fair Light Sand, um, which is pretty light. I do have it on today and I have tan on, so I did have to like warm up my face with bronzer. But I do want to get a darker shade for when I am more self tan so that I can use this. But I'm in love with this foundation. I cannot fault it at all, really. like. I am just obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with how it wears. Um, it lasts on my skin all day. 
I just love it. I really, really, really love it. And the next product is the same. I finally bought the Shape Tape Concealer and holy moly, is this good. My dog is staring at me. This concealer, <sighs> there's no words. It's the best concealer I've ever used. It's the most full coverage concealer. It doesn't crease, it doesn't cake. I don't know, it's just, it's amazing. The bottle is huge, so you get so much product. I've got the shade Fair Neutral, which is very, very fair. I do need to get a, again, more of a deeper shade for when I'm self-tanned. Um, this is fantastic for when I am pale as pale. But when I'm self-tanned, this is just too light. I did use it today, but again, I just warmed my face up. So you can work with it, definitely. But I am in love with this concealer. I don't ever want to run out of this concealer. I think it's going to be my holy grail. It's just that good. Moving on through the Tarte products. I have three eye products to show you guys. And the only reason I don't have more is because I literally can't use that many like mascaras at once because I want to save them. So the first thing is the Man Eater Self Sharpening Eyeliner. It's just in black. I've been using this every single day in my waterline, in my tight line. It is incredible. It stays there all day long. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't smear. I just love it so much. And then I have two mascaras. I have the Tardis Mascara and this one is amazing again. I have it on today. Um, and I feel like this really, really, really lengthens and thickens your lashes. I really like it. It is a rubber bristled wand. So, yeah. It's just, it's a very good formula too, I find. And then the other mascara is the also famous Lights Camera Lashes. And this one is probably my favorite. I just find this makes my lashes look so good. Yeah, I think this is my new favorite. I really, really, really like it. So Tarte just does every product so good, guys. So good. Okay, only one more Tarte product and then I promise I'm done. This is the Tartist Pro Palette. This is an eyeshadow palette. I have it on my eyes today. And there will be a tutorial coming very, very soon for this look. So this is what the palette looks like inside. It is stunning. You can create warm or cool tone looks with this. I just love it. And Tarte eyeshadows A, smell really good like every other product. And B, they are so creamy and buttery and blendable. Like you won't find this quality in anything else. So currently I have another Tarte order pending. Um, and I bought the new limited edition unicorn eyeshadow palette. It's not, that's not what it's called, but I can't remember the name. And I bought the Tardist in Bloom eyeshadow palette just because I was so obsessed with the way these applied that I needed more. I needed them. I've been loving this and you guys will see the blendability and everything when I Put this tutorial up. The next product I have is a bronzer. It is from the brand Pure Cosmetics. So this packaging is stunning. It is like a deep brownie chocolate shade and it's huge. Like this bronzer is so big, comes with a massive mirror inside which I always use to apply my makeup. So it has three strips of matte bronzer and then three strips of shimmer bronzer. I have it on today and I have both the matte and the shimmer on. It's amazing because you can either use just the matte shades to really contour your face or you can use the shimmery shades to just bronze it up. And I love the formula of this. It's so pigmented. It's not orange. I don't know. I just, I love this so much. And I feel like Pure Cosmetics is a really underrated brand. I just don't hear many people talk about it. So I definitely wanted to mention this little guy. I have the RCMA No Color Powder. I had to buy this because Kathleen Lights loves it. And I love Kathleen. And, you know, if she raves about it, I gotta have it. It is amazing. I have been using it pretty much every single day to set my makeup in place. It doesn't go cakey. You can bake with it and use heaps of product and it doesn't look bad. I just, I really love the way this applies. It's just really, really good. 
only thing I really don't like about this is this stupid packaging. Honestly, like you get so much product, which is amazing, but the lid just pops up and there's nothing. Like there's a sifter, but where do you put the product? So I just pour it onto like my desk or a surface and just apply it off of that, but that's not the most hygienic way to apply it. So I really think they need to get their act together with this powder packaging. I know Jacqueline Hill loves this and she put it into an empty little like loose powder compact. So that might be a thing I need to try, but I do love the formula of this regardless. Okay, and the last products I have to show you are all from Benefit Cosmetics because again, they had a launch and they sent me over the products, which is amazing and I love quite a few of them. So the first thing is the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. Packaging is just phenomenal. It is like a little bamboo stick. Um, the colour of this is fantastic. I have it on today underneath my bronzer. I am obsessed with this. It blends out so, so easily. It doesn't look too orange. It's like a perfect between cool tone and warm tone shade. I'm just loving this so much. So I think they did a fantastic job on this. And then the next product I've been using literally every single day. I had no self tanner on for like two weeks. So... For the last two weeks, I've been using this non-stop, and it is the Hula Light. So it's basically Hula Contour Powder, but in a lighter shade. So it is the same packaging, except it's like a light tan box in this one. And that is what the powder looks like. It looks really light, and kind of is, but when you apply it to the skin, it looks so beautiful. You can build it up. Um, you can contour with it, you can bronze with it. I just feel like this is the most beautiful powder when I'm fair. You know, when I've got no fake tan on, it's so hard to use my bronzers because I just feel like nothing looks good, everything looks orange. This has been my little lifesaver and it actually smells really good too. It's like nice and freshly perfumed, which the old hula isn't. So. I do love the old hula just as much, um, the old, the OG hula, but I do love this one for when I'm pale and I think it's fantastic that they've come out with an option for the paler skinned girls. Okay, and then my last product is the Dandelion Twinkle Powder. This is amazing. I love the packaging. It's a like metallic chromey pink. And it's like a really light champagne-y pink highlight. It is beautiful. It's very subtle, so it's like a glow from within. But you can build it up. You could use it with Fix Plus. And it's just stunning. I've been using this every day for work because I don't like a super stark highlight when I'm just going to work. So I've been using this over my cheekbones and everywhere kind of thing. And loving it so much. This one smells good too. It smells different to Hula Light, but it does have a little scent. But yeah, loving this powder. I think it's another good one for fair skin people because it's like got that pinky tone to it. It's absolutely beautiful and so soft and pigmented. I just have one more favorite to mention that is not a beauty product or anything. It's a TV show that I've just started on Netflix and I think everyone's watching it at the moment. It is called 13 Reasons Why and it is about a girl called Hannah who has committed suicide but she leaves behind tapes um, and she basically gives them to all the people who caused her suicide and caused her death. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm about halfway through the first season or if not more, more than halfway and I'm literally glued to my computer. I cannot stop watching it. It is amazing and it is very, very, very relatable. Um, not only for someone with mental illness, but for people who have gone through really shitty times in high school. Um, high school was absolutely bullshit for me. I hated high school. I honestly, when people say, oh, I miss high school, I wish I could go back. I could think of absolutely nothing worse. I would never want to relive those days. So I always feel for people who are still going through that. And, you know, 
it's hard. Like people, people just think you're a kid and you get over things, but it's not always that. It's not always that you're moody. It's not always that you're on your period. It's not always just a simple answer for the pain you can feel. Like that pain is real. So don't ever think that it's not. Anyway. I just went off topic, but the show is incredible. I would highly, highly recommend people seeing it. Um, kind of shows how just something little, like, you know, something you say to someone can affect their life. And I certainly know I'm not innocent. I was a pretty mean girl in high school because I was self-conscious. I had no self-esteem. I was depressed. I was suicidal. So I used you know, anger and that kind of thing as a barrier, you know, I made people intimidated by me because it felt better to be angry and have people be scared of me than to be vulnerable and show people what I'm actually like. So yeah, I would highly recommend everyone to watch it, you know, I think it's an amazing sh thing for everyone to see. So. Yeah, that is my last favourite for the month. Okay guys, so that wraps up today's video. I don't have anything else to say to you guys. I love you and thank you for sticking around and subscribing to my channel. We are a growing little family and I'm loving it. I love all your comments. So if you ever have a comment or you want to talk, I'm always here for you guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Oh, you good boy. <clears throat> I'm so itchy. I'm already out of breath. <clears throat> the Hourglass Foundation, I mean, um, so, yeah. Glitzy, blingy eyes. I have a mozzie bite on my butt. And it is itching like a little motherfucker. I don't know. It's not rubber. <laughs> I also have phlegm. Okay, brands, Ollie, excuse me, be quiet, sorry, um, did I just ruin my lipstick, no, we're good, ah, 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 no, no, leave it, I do actually have a coop, no, come on shoulders, just keep pushing the shirt down, Keep pushing. I don't know why I'm so flimmy.